Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Um, hope you guys are excited for episode 15 here on our Let's Play Pokemon Shield series. Um, in today's episode, we're going to be taking on the fourth uh, gym leader, the fourth gym challenge uh, here in Stoan Side, which is with uh, Alistair, the ghost type gym leader. So if you guys are excited, uh, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and also leave a like on the video because it always helps our channel grow here. So without further ado, let's get into a quick team recap. So first up we have Mara at level 38 with Bulldoze, Rock Tomb, Liquidation, and Bite. Then we have Havel at level 38 with Drill Pack, Steel Wing, Home Claws, and Payback. Then we have Alice at level 38 with Sucker Punch, Bulldoze, X Scissor, and Poison Jab. Then we have our starter Pokemon, Zakai at level 38 with Headbutt, Double Kick, Blaze Kick, and Pyro Ball. Then we have Vladimir at level 38 with Body Press, Flame Charge, Dig, and Smackdown. And lastly we have our Manectric aka Orion at level 38 with Bite, Discharge, Quick Attack, and Shockwave. So with that now complete, we will head out of the Pokemon Center here and do a little bit of exploring of Stoan side before we go and take on Alistair. Let's see what what do these guys sell? What? Mm, no, that's okay. And what do you have? Be a good reward. Buying a pearl string. Okay. Fortunately, we don't have any of those, so that's kind of a letdown there. Um, I guess we'll pop in here real quick. See what's going on in this house. Gotta keep stirring the pot, make sure it doesn't burn, but also don't spill it. Okay, they're just cooking up some stuff. <laughs> Nothing important going on over there. We'll jump down here real quick. Ooh, an item there. Definitely want to scoop that up. And we'll grab that other one on our way back here. Ooh, Rocky Helmet. That'll come in handy, so... Whenever a Pokemon uh, holds the Rocky Helmet and they get hit with a physical move, it actually does damage to the opposing Pokemon that hit them. So I think I will give that actually to Vladimir, because he has pretty strong defenses as it is, so he'll be able to take physical hits better. So that is a pretty good item. Uh, to put with any Pokemon really that has high defenses like that. So definitely, <clears throat> definitely happy about that. So we went down there. What is back over here? A bunch of Diglett just chilling out. Okay. We'll uh, scale this building over here. See what's uh, on the roof. Ooh, there's a TM up here. I get over there to scoop that up. Let's see, get this metal coat. Okay. A Maractus. No, they don't have one. Sorry, bro. <laughs> like, he's just chilling up here. What a guy. Ooh, Venom Shot. Okay. That's a special type poison move, so it doesn't really work for our team. Um, but. It's still a pretty good move uh, overall. Um, I think it does like 65 base damage, and then if the opposing Pokemon is poisoned, it does double the damage. So, mm, I don't think there's anything else. Can I get? No. Okay. Thought I could sneak in there before Hop says anything. Chappy. Yeah. I'm still not too sure what I should do about all that stuff I told you before. About me being weak and dragging down Lee's good name and all, yeah? But the only thing I can do is get stronger, right? So I'm gonna try out all kinds of different things against you and see what works. Alright, bring it on. Then let's do this. I bet an all-out battle with my true rival will help get my head on straight. Can't read today. <laughs> Alright, let's see what you got, Hop. Okay. 
think it's a uh, water flying, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I'm after his victory. I'm not counting on you. So we'll go for fight here. Let's see what we can do. Nice. It does a good bit of damage. Didn't get the flinch, but that's okay. Should be able to knock it out right here. We will bring out his Akai. His uh, fire will be super effective against his grass type starter here. Plus, his Pokemon's not even fully evolved all the way, and ours is. We got the advantage over him here. Who wouldn't aim for a super effective hit if they had a chance, right? Exactly. That's why we did it. <laughs> and Zakai gets level, and so does Mara. We'd love to see that. Ooh, Jawlock. What does that do? Prevents them from switching out until either of them faints. See if that goes away if either Pokemon needs to kill. That's actually pretty good. I'll get rid of Bite for that. That's a really good move. Oh, he's got a Silicobra, okay. We saw that in the uh, last episode. We'll go back out in the Mara. Um, probably go for Liquidation. This will be uh, super effective. I think Silicobra is a ground type Pokemon, so. That should be quite a bit of damage. Perfect. Get out of here. Toxel. Mm. Maybe also. Yeah, let's go into Alice. We haven't seen her on screen for a while. Give her some time. But, uh, I don't know what I can do to try to win now, but all I can do is try. Bulldoze here. Pretty easy win there. <laughs> his team is, uh... His team is diverse, I'll give him that. It's not very strong, but it is diverse. My strategy goes right to plot when I've got all of these bad thoughts running through my head. Uh, that happens, man. <sighs> I tried switching my team members in and out to max out their potential in every matchup, but we just couldn't get it together somehow. Maybe that's why I'm still so weak. But Lee really is the greatest trainer, and I don't want people to be laughing at him all because his little brother is rubbish. It's not enough. I've got to try harder, and harder and harder till no one's laughing. I'm off, mate. Off to find the kind of Pokemon that I can really draw the strength out of. Alright, good luck with that, man. I like his determination. That's, uh... Oh! <laughs> You're so cool again. That child! Gym challengers should battle for the sake of their own Pokémon. Why worry about saving the champion's name? We all know he's unbeatable. Which kind of sounds Irish there. <laughs> anyway, here's something for letting me watch your battle. Ooh, Alistair's League card. Okay. Now, on you go, child. You're headed to the stow on side gym next, you know? The gym challenge is about having fun. Bye, Opal. <laughs> Alright. So, actually, we have a couple of league cards we can check out real quick, because we got a few in these last couple episodes. So, there's Alistair's. We got Raihans and Opals. So that's pretty cool. Get to kind of have a little look see at the gym leaders. Let's uh, head on here because I wanted to see. Ooh, we got a TM from this guy. Ooh, fly, okay. Nice. It's 
pretty decent TM. I don't think I'm going to teach it to anybody on our team, but uh, I'll take it. And what is up over here? Grab this. Right, pie. Didn't that one dude want one of these or something? I think there was a guy. Where was he? Or maybe he was selling them. Yeah, he was selling them. Okay. Alright, never mind. And I just want to see real quick if our team needs to get healed up now. Okay. So we will head on up here now to go and take on Alistair. See what's shaking on at this uh, gym challenge up here. And what kind of ball do we get? Heavy ball, okay. Catching very heavy Pokemon. Cool. Sweet, so we will take that. And uh, we'll get changed into our uniform here and head on in. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like a giant pinball thing. <laughs> Interesting. Allow me to explain the gym mission for Stoneside Gym. To complete the mission, you'll need to ride in one of these cups and make your way to the goal while trying to avoid obstacles. <laughs> Let me tell you a bit more about how to operate this fun attraction. Rotate your control stick to the right and the cup will start to spin to the right. Rotate it to the left to make the cup spin left. If you hit a wall, rotate the stick as quick as you can to get yourself out of that sticky situation. Now, have a good time watching the world spin as you try to reach the goal. Then on you spin and good luck. Alright Dan, sounds like a plan. <laughs> go down here at all? Come on. There we go. A little more. There we go. Spin the teacups too much and gym challengers go flying. <laughs> Jeez. Ooh, can't handle with uh, Mara here. We have um, that new move we just got, Jaw Lock, so that should be super effective on all these ghost types because it's a dark move. Excellent. We get... Eh, not a lot of experience, but that's okay. Phantom. Be able to take it out. Pretty easy. This whole gym challenge should be pretty easy for the most part, so. Do you have anybody else with them? Let's see. Mm. Nobody that I really want to go into, to be honest. I'd rather just stick with uh, Mara here, because she can just she can sweep everybody pretty much. So. It'll make it a lot easier for us, um, and it'll also make the episode shorter, so, because we won't be sitting around here all day. I lost. My consciousness has been sent flying. Yeah, we got 5900 bucks. Pretty good. Alright, so let's get into the next one. Let's see what we have to do here. 
Uh, I think we were actually supposed to- Oh no, we were supposed to go this way. Thought maybe we had to go... Ah, just missed it. So we... Right, now we gotta start spinning. Here we go. Ooh, we, did, we did a lot better on that one than we did the first one. That was a much easier puzzle there. Take on Gym Trainer Lin. Okay. There's a lot of old people in this gym, I just noticed that. I don't know why that is. This Alistair is like a kid, almost. Like, pretty much, he looks really young. So, I'm surprised that they have, like, all these old people in this gym. Yeah, that is what it is, I guess. Ooh, it's a speed boost. Okay. And we'll take it out here with one more draw lock. Perfect, get out of the girl level there. Losing made me remember, the gym leader wears a mask. <laughs> okay, what does that have to do with anything? It's like random. Alright, I think this is the last puzzle we have to solve. Nah, yeah, I missed the time. Come on. There we go. And then, we have a left. And I'm trying to remember... Yeah, okay. And then, down here. Perfect. All right. And looks like he's our last guy we got to face. So we got Dream Trainer Roy. All right. Oh, he's got Haunter. Okay, cool. Haunter's one of those classic Gen 1 Pokemon. You gotta love it. Um. His evolved form Gengar is a lot cooler though. A lot of people uh, are big fans of uh, Gengar. Alright. Drifloon. Keep good old Mara in. And we'll take it out here with uh, Jaw Lock, I'd imagine. Oh, it lives on one! Okay. Ooh, special defense grab. That's okay. We'll uh finish it up here with Black Team. Beautiful. If you understand type matchups, it's only natural that it'd be easier to win. 6300 bucks, let's go. And actually, I'm going to give... Do we have an... Yeah, we do have an ether, okay. Because we only have like three jaw locks left, so the ether will restore it by uh, 10 points. So we can get um, a couple more uses out of that. And then I will heal up Mara real quick here. And we will hop on in to the uh, gym leader, the stadium, I guess. The actual, like, field. <laughs> Alright. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'll put Havel first, then Alice. So that way we're not like just seeing Mara the whole time. But she will come into play in this battle though. Um, when it's time to Dynamax for sure. Oh, he's got the six, he's got the little Pokeballs on his side just like uh, the first gym leader. Mmm, Alistair. He, here I go. 
Yeah, I don't really know what kind of voice to give him. He doesn't really say much. Um, so, yeah. Now, right, let's see what you got there. The Yom Mask. Nothing we can't handle with Portal Or let's try to drill back. Nice. What is that doing? Swap abilities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that does nothing, dude. I'm taking hits for days from this guy. One more drill back. Corsa. Mm. Yeah, let's go into Alice. Why not, right? Give her some time on screen. And we will go for. Let's see if we have the sucker punch. Is it gonna hit? No. That's the only risky thing with Sucker Punch is it's a priority move, so we'll go first, but only if your opponent's Pokemon plans to actually attack you with um, a physical or special move. So let's see if we can get him with one here. Awesome. Here we go, here we go. Ooh, so close to leveling up. Unfortunately, we do have that first now on Alice here. A Mimic here. So we will switch. We will in the Mara now. She's kind of like our ace in the hole, so I think it's time to bring her out here. Right. I thought he had three Pokemon. Oh, he's got four. And we brought Mara out a little bit too early. Thought he only had like three Pokemon. Disguise. So I had like a built-in protection thing. I guess we'll go. Uh, we'll go into our Valley. See what he can do against this thing. Oh, this is so annoying, dude. Stop dropping our attack. You don't need to be doing that. Why don't you actually like, hit us with a move? Okay, that's probably not going to do it. Oh, I think oh, I did a lot. Probably because we got that critical hit. He's, <laughs> he's not even hitting us. He's just. Doing these stupid status moves. It's so dumb. Mm -hmm. Bunch of people getting levels. And Gengar. Okay, cool. So yeah, you guys get to see. Um, like I was mentioning earlier with that Haunted, it's a ball point Gengar is way cool. My very last Pokemon. How lonely, how frightening. Gengar, there he is. The dude. Alright. So we will, uh. Gengar, Gigantamax. Swallow everything in darkness. <laughs> Let's see what this thing looks like. <laughs> Dude, what is that? Look at that thing. He's like a, um, he's like one of those giant um, inflatable like bouncy house things. Bouncy castle. That's ridiculous. What are you doing, Nintendo? Or I should say, Pokemon Company, really, because 
those main ones behind me too. Now, I don't know what they're thinking with some of these designs. Oh, he's going for max cookies too, okay. See how much our max characters has. Yeah, see, we got the power. <laughs> we know how to burn it. All right, good game, good match, Alistair. Didn't quite beat us, but uh, we have a pretty strong team, so I'm not surprised. I nearly lost my mask from the shot. That was... wow. I can see your skill for what it is. Sweet. And we got 11 grand from the guy, too. Crumbs. <laughs> that was Ace. Here, a ghost badge. Alright. We'll take it. We got four now, we're halfway there. We need to catch Pokemon up to level 40. Good, good luck with, um, everything. He's like super shy. Challenger Chappie, you defeated our gym leader, Alistair. Take this TM as a reward for your victory. Ooh, that's nice. The relentless attack does massive damage to a targeted target affected by status conditions. And a complimentary ghost type uniform. Cool. Mm, actually, yeah, we'll head out here. Ooh. Oh, it's Yamper. Look at that. And Sonya. Looks like my Yamper really likes you, huh? Anyway, we've run into each other at a good time. You know the mural Hira and Stoan side. It's said to tell the story of the hero of Galar as well. Though what's there today is actually a replica of the ancient art that used to be here. You tend to have surprisingly sharp insight, so I was wondering what you might think when you see the ruins. Oh boy. What? What in the world was that? Sounds like it came from the direction of the ruins, too. Well, let's have a look. Come along, Yamper. Alright, let's see what's going on over there. Looks like, uh... Something happened. We don't know what, but... Oh, let me grab this real quick. Max Revive! I don't know why she's just standing down here. Check it out. Oh, it's a bee. Figures. <laughs> Destroy it! Destroy it all! We're going to find those wishing stars. We've got to bring the chairman more wishing stars if we want to please him. Kaburja, if you're truly the chairman's Pokemon, then you should feel grateful for this chance to help him find wishing stars. Hey, buddy. Slow your roll. Oh my, you again. So you think that you can start collecting wishing stars now and get in the chairman's favor? That's the way of things, is it? I see. So you do have some cunning in you. But I won't have it. I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. Alright. Guess we gotta teach this dude a lesson. A duosion? Alright. We got our big strong Corvin right here. Let's go for payback. Should be super effective, I believe. Because his whole team is psychic types, so. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. I've already seen more than enough to judge you and your team's abilities. Light screen. Little does he know. We're not, uh. We're not special attackers, we're physical attackers, so light screen is useless. Perfect. One down, three to go. Hey, here we go. Get Sakai up at a level, get Orion up a level. Dafrita, I don't know what it said. Let's see. Yeah, 
Gasparita. We'll go for Drill Pack. Nice. Just does. Wow, dude, Corviknight's got really good defense. Maybe I should give him the Rocky Helmet. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Alright. Got two of his team members down. And we'll switch out into. Let's see what Alice can do. With uh, the Sucker Punch move. Go for a sucker punch here. Did we knock it out? Ooh, almost. So close. My partner's move is simply splendid, wouldn't you say? Sign me? Uh, sure. Oh. Yeah, that's my bad. I forgot that um, poison types like Alice are weak against um, psychic moves, but I did also think that the sucker punch would get the one dead knockout, so I didn't think you'd really have to worry about anything, but that's okay, we'll clean him up here with the uh, liquidation, and then he's down to uh, his last Pokemon. Ponyta, so we'll keep... I have to win this for the chairman. Do you really think I'd let you keep me from winning? No, oh, that's exactly what he said. But we'll go for it. So much this does. Perfect. Get the one hit knockout. And the crit. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. This has to be some kind of mistake. I demand a do-over. But why? How can this be? How could someone like you get in my way? I was the one chosen by the chairman. I was the one who was to defeat the champion. I'm one of the elite. Someone who can shoulder the future of Gala Region. Challenger Bead. Ooh, ooh. I wondered what you were up to when you asked to borrow Chairman Rose's Kaporaja. I can't believe you tried to use the Chairman's Pokemon to destroy a historical site. Who cares for some ancient ruin when the next thousand years are at stake? Did you stand in the path of a Pokemon's simple beam or something? How did you expect to support the Chairman with that sort of thinking? Young Bead it pains me to have to say this, but I am truly disappointed. It's true that I am the one who found you back when you were all alone. I saw talent in you. You reminded me a little bit of myself back when I was young. That's why I sent you to a trainer's school, to give you a chance at success. But trying to destroy the mural, part of Geller's history, you show no love towards Geller. You are clearly not a worthy challenger for the gym challenge. We will decide what to do with you later. For now, you will return to Hammerlock. You... you must be joking, right? You're disqualifying me from the gym challenge, but you're the one who endorsed me. There are a hundred different ways we would sort this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Challenger B, I will be taking those wishing stars yet you have gathered. Oh, shake him down. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> Take his money. Ah, Sonya and Chappie too. Terrible shame, all this. An absolute disaster. I never wish to see us lose challengers for this sort of reason. Yet, we do what we must to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. You know, during one of Bean's matches, I heard the announcers say that Bean has no family. Apparently it was Rose who took Bede under his wing, and so Bede was battling for the chairman's sake. Huh. What an awful turn of events. I hope the mural survived all that. Oh. Oh no! Oop. 
But look at that cool statue back there. And that's right, we saw those tapestries in the last episode of the, the two knights. Not a brilliant turn of events, but the ruins were brought into the light for us to see. What does this tell us about Gather's legends? Uh, Pokemon. Right, more than any hero, there's those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and a shield as if they were using them. Anything else look interesting to you? Uh, two, I guess? Oh, good observation! There were really, there really were two heroes, but if that's the case, then why only the one statue at the Bidoo drop in? Hmm. More than any statue of a hero or old tapestry, these ruins made in truly ancient times must show us the real truth. Which means, uh, I don't know. Yep, I was thinking the same thing. Seems like at some point in history, the sword and shield were combined with the two actual Pokémon and treated as the same thing. But then what? They just faded from history? The two young heroes, the sword and shield, were actually Pokémon, but why would the truth of these ruins be hidden when their stories were depicted in artwork? With your help, we, I really feel we made a big discovery here. Thanks! I'll give you a couple of these, so you keep giving it your best in the gym challenge, too, okay? Guess you'll be headed to... Ball... Ball and Leah? Ball and Leah! Next, right? <laughs> Alright, interesting name for a city. Alright, so uh, with that, we will wrap up the episode here. If you guys enjoyed, uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, feel free to share it out with uh, your friends and family, other people you think you might enjoy the content. And with that, I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Have a great day, and I'll see you later.